Hi everybody, this is an update on the magnetic torque converter. So last August I came up with a theory of how to make a magnetic torque converter with a magnet rotor and an aluminum disc that uh, interacted all on a planetary gear. And in September I jury-rigged one to actually work under my mild electric truck. The entire planetary gear can spin and uh, the, the body would spin backwards in preference to moving the truck except that it's coupled magnetically to the sun gear so as the sun gear turns, as the motor turns, it tries to drag the body with it so uh, then you have uh, a ratio of the magnetism that's magnified by the ratio of the planetary gear and uh, uh, this uh, jury rig mechanism would have just shaken itself apart if I tried to go any speed. So that was as far as I went last fall. And uh, I have now made a, a, a housing for it with a, a steady bearing to hold the long shaft so it can't fly apart. I had a 5 to 1 planetary gear in there. That would have been about the right ratio for the truck if it wasn't a uh, magnetic torque converter but I changed it to a 10 to 1 because that magnifies the effects of the magnetism more and anyway once you're going it's all spinning one to one and it probably gives you better gear ratios on the way up as you're headed from a stop up to a, a driving speed on a street or the highway. The coupling is still a little light even with the 10 to 1 ratio. I changed the uh, magnet rotor from a regular configuration to a haulback configuration and that helped and uh, what I have now is uh, about an 11 millimeter uh, alum disc 10 inches in diameter interacting with the 10 inch magnet rotor and uh, that could be improved uh, if it was say three quarters of an inch thick instead of less than half an inch thick and if it was made of pure alum instead of uh, alum alloy, the pure alum is about 1.4 times as conductive as, as alum alloy. So uh, between those two, the thicker uh, of pure alum rotor, that would probably be just about double the uh, interaction with the magnet rotor. But if you added more magnetic material like steel to the Balloon rotor, it would cog more strongly to the uh, magnet rotor, and then when you got up to kind of cruising speed on the road, it would they probably just lock together when there isn't that much torque required, and then you'd have 100% uh, efficiency for cruising down, and uh, that's pretty hard to beat. So without further ado, here's the tests. We've got the truck. Showing, show the truck and then uh, I plan to put in between what the uh, mechanism underneath is doing at the same time as the truck is going different places. quite difficult to tell how fast any of those things are turning 
there's one point where it looks like the planetary gearbox is stationary but the label's flashing on and off because it's actually showing you a different side each time. Uh, when it's going quite slowly is the best time to catch it. for watching. If you think I'm doing good work, please give me a thumbs up. Next time. <laughs>